Uh, we discussed the um, binomial distribution. There was also the Poisson distribution. I say they give essentially the same answers. The Poisson is effectively the continuous limit of a binomial distribution, uh, where um, you have a time interval dt. Uh, that's effectively a, a, um, a time interval where you do at least a virtual tossing. Then you have a probability lambda dt of something happening in that time interval. That lambda dt is effectively your um, mu in the binomial distribution. Lambda dt is always small. Um, and <coughs> you can then calculate uh, what this Poisson distribution gives. It, it The simplest example of a Poisson distribution uh, is nuclear decay, because their na mother nature will generate decays with a certain probability, which ensures that the chance that of a decay happening in time dt is indeed lambda dt. And you can um, go again to Wikipedia and find out exactly what's going on. And you will find that for a Poisson, always the mean is the square of the standard deviation. So it again has the square root law. Uh, this plot here compares Poisson, which are the um, black lines, if we like this, with various binomial distributions. And when you have, a, when you do the things finely enough and chop the binomial up into s uh, many smaller steps, you will find the binomial looks very similar to the Poisson. Uh, and even for modest size binomial, and you take your uh, case and you divide it into 10, um, 10 tosses, still the binomial is not so different from the um, Poisson distribution. Wikipedia in this article on the Poisson distribution gives lots of examples. Uh, there's one obvious, you know, one example is uh, cars arriving at um, parking lots. Um, telephone calls arriving at, uh, at an exchange, photons arriving at a telescope, um, and so on. Uh, cars arriving at traffic lights. Actually, parking lots are an example of a more general concept because cars not only arrive, but they leave. So that's called a birth and death process. The birth is the cars um, arriving, and the death is the cars leaving. And they might have gained the uh, have probabilities, which are some constant times dt, with uh, possibly uh, different values for that constant. Um, another important example of birth and death processes occurs in um, population dynamics. If you have a collection of fish and sharks, maybe the fish um, give birth with a certain Poisson distribution. They um, they get eaten by sharks, that's a death process, so that corresponds to the fish disappearing rather than appearing as they do when they're born. And birth and death processes all have these uh, uh, probabilities that are linear in, in uh, time, but um, so they can either have positive or negative impact on the number of entities there. And you can calculate several, when you go to the literature, you'll find several examples of multiple species with different interactions of each species on another species, and solving the uh, couple differential equations. Here's yet more examples. Um, number of soldiers killed by horse kicks is claimed to be one of the earliest cases where this was um, uh, studied. Um, number of cells used in brewing beer was a uh, Seems, seems as important. Um, deaths per year in a given age group. Uh, so the stock market has plus on distributions. A number of uh, times of servers accessed per minute, and so on. Uh, so there are many examples of plus on 